guys, welcome back to the channel. Here we're looking at a Webflow project that I just started. This is gonna be like one of those really cheesy marketing websites, say it's like an agency or something and we wanna let our reader know like kind of who we are in just like a few words. So maybe we say something like, you know, we are bold, we are daring, we are, you know, you've seen those websites before. Um, so what I, what I have here is just a heading that is absolutely positioned to the top of this uh, webpage here. And I'm gonna drop in a div block. So I'm gonna hit Command K and add a div. And I'm gonna actually make sure this hero section is set to flex so that div appears right in the middle. And I'm gonna give this div block a class of typed dash text, and you'll see why. You can actually really give this a class of anything you want, but it's gonna save time if I just make it this. Now, I'm going to take a script that I found on the Webflow forum. So this is by Noah R. He's a community expert. And I think he just pulled this from this Type.js project. But all you do is copy the script here that he posted and hit Command C. And then I'm going to go into my project settings, head over to the custom code tab. We're gonna add some custom code here. And I already done this, but let's delete it and add it again. So <clears throat> we're gonna add a code before the body tag. So let's paste that right here. And if you see here, we have the class that we're gonna be targeting. So remember we said typed dash text. So let's just make this a period. So it targets the, the class. And here we have the strings. So each of these are the words that are gonna be typed out, deleted, and then retyped over and over again. So we can make these whatever we want. So let's just do something really cheesy, like I said. So we are bold. <laughs> we are daring. I don't know, what's another one? Fierce. Whoa, what happened there? And there's some parameters here, like this type speed is, I believe, how fast in milliseconds that these words will be typed out and then like deleted. Um, you can also change the cursor character to whatever you want. Right now, it's just this like underscore. Um, you can add some delays, but I'm just gonna leave the default for now. I'm gonna hit save changes. And so Webflow, when you add custom code, it's not gonna show up in the preview. So let me just show you what I mean. Um, so like that change, like you're not gonna see anything yet because we haven't published it yet. We actually have to publish that first. So let's just publish to this domain. And let's pop this out in a new window. So now you see really tiny <laughs> words here being typed out, deleted, and then retyped. And these were the ones we put in that custom code string. But if we wanna change the styling of, this, of these words here, let's just go back to our project. And since we gave this whole div block the class of typed-text, we can just mess with the font here. And this is gonna target all of the words within that div block. So let's just give this like a size of like 80. We'll make it white. And I think I used Droid Sans. Maybe we'll make this bold too. So let's publish it now. And let's just refresh this now. So there we go. Our styling was applied. So kind of cool. It's like a cool little interactive element here that you can add to your website or even your portfolio. Maybe you want to describe yourself in a few words without having to list out all the words at once. It's kind of like a cool, interactive, delightful element. The one thing I haven't figured out how to do yet is how to make this blinking cursor here um, equal with the bottom of the letters because I think that would just visually look a lot better. I'm sure it's really easy. I just haven't figured out how to do it. If you guys happen to use this and figure that out, please let me know. I'm definitely interested. Um, but other than that, that's been it. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial. I have a lot more Webflow tutorials on the way, so stay tuned for those, and I will talk to you guys in the next one.